When it comes to your Tesla, you could spend thousands of dollars on accessories. There is no limit to the amount of money that you could spend souping up these cars. But this is my list of under $30 accessories that I think you should have all the way to really nice to have and a special one that has gotten me more compliments than people watching the full self-driving for some reason. accessory on the Tesla are these mud flaps right here. They don't cost very much at all. They're really easy to install, but I want to show you how important they truly are and why you actually need them because I went through some mud and I want to show you exactly how much mud I went through and look at all of that that came up on there and not one little piece of it is on the car whatsoever. That's how important those mud flaps are and they really don't cost that much. They're on Amazon for like maybe 30 and they're really easy to install. Trust me, you're gonna want this. So this little device is really cool. It's a hook for your groceries. Check this out. All you do is put it right onto right here that's already exposed. Spins on really, really easily. And now you have this really cool hook to make sure that none of your bags go all over the place in this big, beautiful trunk. I, you know, I don't know exactly if it's necessary, but it is a really nice thing to have for only 10 bucks. This is a pretty subjective issue, but a lot of people have noticed that the road and wind noise in the Model 3 tend to be on the loud side. I also looked throughout the internet to find out if other people are having the same amount of decibels that I was having, and it seemed to be pretty consistent. So I got this soundproofing equipment from Amazon, and I had a hell of a time getting certain parts of this actually on. And there were other parts that were extremely easy around the front, around the trunk, very easy. But that door hinge right in here, as you can see, was the most difficult part to actually install. As you can see, the decibels have actually low. I'm not seeing the spike that's going all the way up above 85. The sound in my car lowered three to five decibels, which is a pretty significant amount, tell you the truth. And you're not just getting soundproofing with this product, it's also weatherproofing. So all the little nooks and crannies that you were filling in to stop the sound also stop the water and the debris from going in your car. Pretty cool product. If you do not have a screen protector on your Tesla, I think you're nuts. Not to mention the fact that it's the most important part of your car. You control everything from there. You better protect it. There are versions of anti-glare, which has been the best thing that I could get for this car because the amount of glare that comes off of that thing is immense i'm telling you this big shining light if the sun hits it just right you cannot see anything so the anti-glare has made my driving experience so much better they make this super easy to install and i'm telling you i feel better i feel safer and have a better experience just because of this product now another one of these things that i believe is a must have is the organizer that goes in on the console right over here um they come out they do slide they have this little design to go on the lining but uh granted they they don't really stay in place. They kind of slide while you're driving. Always having, if you're a pen person that always wants to have their pen available, um, I always end up having extra um, rings. You forgot your ring and you don't want your wife to be upset. It comes usually with a bundle package. Now I actually got a different one for this. Back is clear. And the reason why I got a clear one is because of the light is only emanating from down in here. Now, another way that you can spruce up your Tesla is with these little lights right here. They're actually throughout your whole car in various places. You actually know them as one spot as your ambient lighting that go underneath your feet and you can get any color that you want. I got blue, so we're gonna install those and show you how easy it is. This might look a little bit complicated, but it's the easiest way to get underneath the car. The tool that they gave me ended up breaking, so I had to go get a better one. Yeah, that will work better. Jeez. Yeah, you can actually see it right now. That's how much brighter it is. Look at that. All right, I can't wait to show you what this looks like now with the blue because it's a little bit darker out, but check this out.
I love it. With that blue, this is my judo bag. It's shining bright. I really enjoy this. This is definitely my style. Now, another great accessory that you can get are some covers for your pedals. It's definitely not needed. It's gonna make the inside of your car just look that much better. And I specifically got these because I think they're a lot more fun than the obvious ones that you can get. And they make me laugh as well as I think they look a lot better than these crappy things in here. Seems simple enough being able to peel this part and this one doesn't even have anything on it on the bottom here. Not the easiest things to put on, I'll say that much. Oh, it's still not actually on. There we go. All right. One on. Again, that one doesn't have anything. Got to help me for this one. This one, hopefully, is going to be a lot easier. I don't want to drive. Your door's open. It slides open and on top. But look at that. On and off, baby. I think that looks pretty cool. Just jazzes up the, the interior just a little bit more. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Also, remember that all the products are down below in the description. You can hit the links right there. They go straight to Amazon. It's not my own little store. It's all Amazon product. Easy for you to get these things. And let's get back to the video. Down here is really, really bad. It's down on the bottom. It's not shining on top. I ended up getting this product over here. Illuminate around the whole edge. This one. One, two, three, four the front latch. I'm really curious why there would be a latch right here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and it's just magnetic. Wow. What a difference. Just the glowing rim. Wait for it. Here it comes. Look at how bright that is. You can see everything now. Wow. And it looks so cool with that ice blue. Not everybody's the biggest fan of the arrow wheel covers. Uh, frankly, I'm not a big fan of them either. When and if you do get rid of them, they just come right off. They snap off. I already have mine pre off But the thing is, is that you have this, and it, it doesn't look very nice. So for a really cheap price, these little caps that go on there, you just pop them in, and you get these little covers for the nuts. No other way to say that, I think. Lug nuts. Uh, they're plastic, they're cheap, uh, they're not very expensive whatsoever. Uh, and they just slip on. And they stay on really nice. And I think it's a lot better look for the car. I really like the way that they look in comparison to the aero wheels. They do save about 10 miles per charge up. So if you're on a long trip and you want to save some time, you might want to keep them there. But if you really hate looking at these uh, aero wheel covers, that is the way to go. My uh, three and a half year old son is a Cars 3 fanatic. Watch that movie at least a hundred times. But why not make his day by having a sunscreen that's going to make him laugh and giggle and get excited about the car. I just want you to see how dirty the car is right now. This is also waterless wash, shine and protect. It does so much all in one. And when the water beads off of this, it does that cool thing you see in every infomercial. So all you do is you put on wet, you just buff it out. But when it's nice and smooth and to the point where you can feel it even with your fingers, that's perfect. This product is so inexpensive, works really, really well, keeps my car clean. I absolutely will not go anywhere without it. So that's the list of products that are under $30. There was 10 of them right there, but I have a special one, a bonus one for you that I've gotten more compliments than any other one. But I also wanted to mention about one other product that I think you should get, but it was too expensive to make this list. And then another one that I don't think is worth the money, but a lot of people think so. So let's see it. I have to admit these door sill lights are pretty sexy, at least they're making them look that way. And they're really simple to install. All you have to do is put them right on top of the ones that are already there. They're magnetically triggered, they have batteries in them that last for three years, so there's not much to worry about. But at a $160 price point, I feel like I can get a little bit bigger bang for my buck. I don't know where you live, but where I live, it is snowy, there is salt on the road. So, this is by far the most important accessory that you should get for your Tesla are these floor mats because look at how dirty mine are. I'm not showing you the nice clean version. I'm showing you that even the passenger side is getting extremely dirty and that's how important these things are. And I love the little symbol on these specific ones and you can pull them out and you can clean them really easily. I really enjoy these because they have the look with the T logo on there that kind of makes it feel like a Tesla owned type of thing. Um, they do have the back seat, which is super important for having a toddler like I do. 
but this bundle package does not come with the trunk. This one's pretty cool, I don't mind it, and it comes with everything that you would need for the frunk, the trunk, and the bottom part of the trunk as well. I'll put a link for this one down as well if that's something that you're more into. I know you can barely see me, but you have waited this long to find out what my favorite accessory is. It's the one that I get the most compliments on. I don't really understand it, but for some reason, it is that puddle light right there. That puddle light is the most complimented accessory that I have on this car, besides just the car in general, but this puddle light right here, it gets more compliments than any other thing in this car. Because the minute people see that, they're like, oh my god, whoa, look at you all fancy. I can't believe it. It's a weird thing. But there you go. That is the most complimented accessory on my Tesla.